Greenland and win. Why? Yeah, because I'm, I'm from Greenland. Well, I, I reckon Queensland can't help, Wendy. I come from, uh, you know, Gordonvale? No, I never heard of it. It's inside a can. I think Queensland will definitely have to win. I think they win the cup. From Lang Park, Brisbane. The Winfield State of Origin Series. Queensland versus New South Wales. And a very good evening, everyone. Welcome to Lang Park. This is the big one. It's Queensland and New South Wales. Opening match of the State of Origin Series. Two teams out in centre field there, ready to meet the Premier of Queensland, Joe Bjorki peterson And also, of course, the new chairman of the Australian Rugby League, Ken Arthurson, is out there also. Plenty of atmosphere here at Lang Park. And, of course, we have Michael Beavers with us. How are you, Mick? Very well. Very excited too, Bill. It's going to be a tremendous game. There have been a few changes to that Queensland side, but uh, I think we will acquit ourselves well. All right. I do feel, though, that... That New South Wales side in the forward pack is uh, very, might be very hard to roll. All right, we'll have a look at those two teams in a moment. And of course, the Queensland team, the news here is the fact that uh, Paul McCabe is out. He's suffered a, suffered a stomach disorder throughout the day. Kevin Hobbs has been looking at him, the medical officer, but he is out. They brought Dave Brown up from Sydney, but he's not in the opening lineup. Wally Fullerton Smith has gone into the second row, and Paul Vorton has dropped back to the lock forward position. What do you think of that, Michael? Well, I think it's a pity that we've uh, lost Paul McCabe because his uh, defensive pattern and crunching tackles certainly uh, are going to be missed. But then again, I think they've done the best they can, although I am surprised that Dave Brown isn't in there. Quite surprised. I think we needed a bit of size in that front row. Let's have a look at the New South Wales side. There's 11 kangaroos in the New South Wales team. They're coached by Ted Glossop. He's got a big point to prove. He thinks he should be the Australian coach. Artie Beetson, of course, has got the job for the uh, test series against New Zealand. So Glossop will be obviously out to see if this team can get up and get a win for him tonight. A very impressive forward pack, I believe. Gerard, Bugden and Krillich up front the back row you've got Ray Price the best lock forward in the world Boyd uh, Wayne Pierce, who was uh, the big discovery of the kangaroo tour well the man missing from that back row of course is McKay because he was going to be in the Queensland side a tremendous back row and I tell you what Bill not a bad set of backs either all right Peter Sterling starting off there at the halfback bit worried about Ella will it be interesting to see how he lines up against Wally Lewis I think there could be a switch during the match Ella might change with Kenny every now and then they'd and then be mad if they didn't and then of course that big one out in the uh, winging position is Eric Growth will be watching out for him. All right, we're ready for the kickoff here at Lang Park. The referee is, uh, of course, uh, Barry Gomersall from Mackay. He started refereeing back in 1970. A very short time he was uh, uh, doing Foley Shield matches after only about five years. There's Steve Stacey, the Queensland winger. In there's Paul Vorton, looking very pensive with the red hair. Some of these Queensland forwards, Mick, have a big job on their hands tonight. Well, these that particular fellow is playing against that particular fellow and their club mates in Sydney. That's Les Boyd right there on camera. There's the kickoff. There it goes and they're underway now. The opening State of Origin match and that is Price taking it from the kickoff. Back it goes to Brent Ball and the boot carrying underneath it. Now Gene Miles allows it to bounce. He knows that those New South Wales blokes have got to stand back, which they do. So Miles takes plenty of time to size it up. A nice high one. This will test out Brent Null under the lights at Lang Park. It'll bounce nowhere near Brentnell. Sterling's going to be the one with it. And bang to the ground in the first tackle of the match by Darrell Broman. So now, Price coming up as the dummy half. Swinging it away. That's Les Paul. Or rather, the front row Bugden coming through. Nice, tough customer he is too, Bill. Max Krillitz, a kangaroo captain, the New South Wales captain tonight. Swings it back to Brentnell. Obviously, they want to get it down to the Queensland half. Colin Scott going across there, but a nice kick by Brentnell to start it off. That's the tactics they're going to uh, put into action. They're going to play Queensland in their own half as much as possible. And you can't play, blame them for that. All right, first scrum of the match coming up. Could be a little bit of an interesting sight here, Michael. Yes, a little bit of nonsense straight off the bat, Bill. Well, referee Gomasol is talking to both packs before they uh, go down for this first one of the match. Obviously, he's uh, going to tell them uh, what it's all about. Any me messing about, you're in trouble. Mark Murray will be the one to feed. I think they will still mess about a little, Bill. All right, in it goes. And, of course, uh, Queensland with the feed winner. That's Mark Murray. But Ray Price is over there, first penalty of the match New South Wales lurking up offside there, Figs, Phil Sigsworth the main offender and a big uh, a lot rests on Mr Gomesel's shoulders this evening, he's, uh, he's got rather a tenacious match to separate these two teams, they both mean business, I notice that Ted Glossop feels that uh, maybe he'll, uh, there is the replay Bill, and look at them, they were well inside the five metres, nice high shot there so you can see exactly what it's all about, okay here's Queensland, right on the halfway mark lost by Lewis, 
He'll quickly regather, starts to move up towards the halfway. Deciding to hang on to it, there's uh, Gerard throwing him to the ground. Nice and far in the opening part. That's a halfway mark you can see right there. Take it up as uh, Daryl Broman. Dummy half, Greg Canescu. A lot of personal duels in this match tonight, Mick. Yes. Oh, a little bit of a mess up here. They're, they're going to lose the ball. And that's sloppy football from Queensland. Oh, yes, plenty of uh, duels, Bill. They're out there everywhere. Meninga and Miles up against the two centres for New South Wales, Sigsworth and company. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how Ella goes against Wally Lewis. And, of course, John Rebo has the job out here against Eric Grove. Well, that was bad news for Queensland. Through the legs of Kanescu, and then uh, Vorton couldn't get it either. This is Sterling. Little chip kick. Scott coming through. He takes it. Got away from Brentnell. Can't get away from the next one, though. And in there is Les Boyd. This is Steve Stacey. Playing his first state of origin match. A good run from Stacey. Now, back to Mark Murray. Settles it a bit. That's Brian Niebling. Ray Price over the top. Cross over there to Daryl Broman. Feeds it on to Brad Tessman. Playing his first game for Queensland. Under 18s as captain for Queensland. His only interstate experience. Here's a kick back to Brentnell. About 25 metres out from his own line. And you said that beautifully. Back to Brentnell. But they've, he's lost the ball and that's lucky. And it's going to be a penalty. Phil Sigsworth. The player offside there. A correct decision. But I thought he may have allowed Queensland the opportunity to play the advantage. Well, he decided that uh, that was there not to be. Here it is again. There and there's the ball spilling forward. And it's... Well, I don't know. It was touched by Sigworth, but he was just getting in the road. And that's why he was penalised, as far as I could see. Yes, Gene Miles not able to get in there and uh, try and recover that ball. Mal Meninga, as you saw, found touch. Now Queensland, about 30 metres out. Out to Wally Lewis. Obviously, things are going to centre around him. Broman gets it back to Tespin. Can't pick it up. But up there is Brian Niebling to do it. Wally Fullerton Smith is a dummy half. He's into the Queensland side tonight, into the second row. Vorton back to lock. And Paul McCabe not taking part in the match tonight. Dave Brown will sit on the line together with Ian Frank. A great, great driver. Here's Vorton still going. Lewis outside. He's over underneath the boat. First try of the match after only four minutes of play. Sensational start for Queensland. Beautiful run from Paul Vorton. He was picked up and by the pass ran onto it beautifully. And Wally, here it goes. It, Kanescu started it on the double round now. Here's Morton. And look at him go through that gap. Straight past the front row from New South Wales. And Lewis is looming up on the outside. Straight under the post. And Queensland away to a flying start. OK, let's have another look at it now. You can see Kanescu getting it across. He doubles around. There's Morton straight through the gap. You'll see him get away from Jeff Gerrard. And there's Lewis, ever present, on the outside, took off on the quarter line, raced away. Brent will have to go forward and have a go at Morton. But Lewis is over in Queensland in for an early lead of... What do you love about Queensland? What are the things that you raise? I'd say the freedom, I'd say the bush, I'd say the forex, mate. But I don't have to leave. Fried chicken, we do chicken right. Just one thing, we do chicken right. Australia's favorite chicken, bite after bite. Tender and juicy, it tastes so right for you. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do it right. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. With some businesses opening one day and closing down the next, you really should think twice about who you deal with. So before you part with that hard-earned cash, make sure your money isn't about to go down the drain. You can ring Electronic Sales and Rentals on 369 8166 and one of our trained representatives will visit your home obligation-free. He'll answer all your queries on videos and TVs, trade-ins, package deals and movie swap offers. Electronic Sales and Rentals, 369 8166. Bald or thinning, Earl Dean's hair treatment, as seen on one of Brisbane's current affairs programs, are conducting a research project. Please help. Phone double two double nine two double six. Wales underneath the post having a big conflict. 
but a beautiful bit of work and uh, actually a simple wrap around and New South Wales should certainly should not have opened up in defence. Converted by Mal Meninga. Queensland have a lead at Lang Park. A good early lead for the Mick after only four minutes of play. Six points to nil. Yes, and uh, the men we thought might do a few things, or the two of them, did it immediately. Vorton, Will of the Wisp and Wally Lewis right on his hammer. OK, so New South Wales ready to kick off and uh, they'll be desperate to get back into it now. Now the kick off will be Sigsworth and drives it deep down into Queensland territory. Gene Miles is going to be the man there to take it. On the first bounce, accelerates up over the quarter line, unloads it nicely. Keeping it going, Meninga away to Wally Lewis on the quarter line. Back to Meninga, Maroons everywhere. Intercepted though, taken there by Mortimer, feeds it away then to a winger Growth, but Growth is into touch. Oh, and Rebo trying to put one on him as he went out over the sideline. But Actually, just... that was Brett Kenny, the man to come in and take that, but a penalty, Queensland. And I'd say we were lucky to have that uh, penalty, Bill, but, uh, well, he didn't. can't see everything, the referee, can't see everything. Plenty of Maroons about on that occasion, Mick. Yes. They looked as though they were really going to go on with the job. A little bit of loose passing, they want to just settle it a little bit take advantage of that early six-point lead settle things down yes don't want to get too anxious now Brian Nee or rather Konescu coming up onto the mark this is Brad Tesman he'll be tackled by Krillich and also coming into it is Jeff Buckton he's lost it has he play on touched by the opposition another six tackles Rebo ends up with it Konescu Queensland losing the ball on quite a few occasions the crowd not happy with uh, Max Krillich kicking through the play of the ball there yes he did let go with the beauty Getting up to play it is Darrell Brown, but another penalty. Les Boyd, the offender. I think referee Gobbersall's made uh, his situation quite clear, Mick. Yes, no nonsense. Get off the player, let him play it, and let's get on with the game. Boyd missing there. Tell you what, <laughs> the big fella though, Jeff Bugden not missing, and Boyd stepping all over the player. And of course, Broman, the man underneath. OK, outside to Brad Tesman this time. He's lost it again, Tesman. That's the third time, actually, he has lost it. Unfortunate. Well, you can't afford to give it away. Give away possession like that. That's Jeff Gerrard. Not to the second best team in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Gerrard to Max Krillich's dummy half. Working to cross. That's Ray Price. Nice tackle. Underneath is Brian Niebling. So a sensational start here at Lang Park. Queensland off to a good early lead. Six points to nil. That's Peter Sterling. And they're not going to give him much room to move. No, great defence from Niebling, getting up quickly on Sterling. Fullerton Smith not far behind either. This is Sigsworth. Two teammates connecting there, Sigsworth and uh, red-headed Vorton. On the play of the ball, Krillich decides to work the blind side. That's where Greg Frentnell is. Bounces off Tesman. Rolling back towards Colin Scott. He'll get it nicely. It'll be wrapped up in the tackle of uh, Gerard though. Murray's the dummy half. This is Lewis. Away then to Meninga. Tried to crash through Boyd's tackle. Not successful. Dummy half is Gene Miles. Well, the crowd have waited a while to get something to cheer about, and they certainly didn't have to wait long into this match. Canescu. Now on to Steve Stacey. Well tackled over there this time by Chris Anderson. Back over to Niebling. A couple of metres short of the halfway mark. The blues coming up like a blue blanket in defence. Final tackles on the way. This is Lewis. There's the grubber kick for touch. He won't find it. Brentnell there to cut it off. Takes it in front of Chris Anderson, his winger. He got away from Stacey, but then Stacey launched himself at him again. Stacey needs a good game tonight. Uh, put him in contention for the green and gold. Lost there by New South Wales. Dived on by Lewis. And a quick play. The ball sees it's on its way again. Morton to Meninga. Meninga trying to bustle through. Couldn't pass the ball on that occasion, Meninga, because he would have crowded Rebo right out over the line. Tried to palm off Brett Kenny. Now Rebo with a bit of a battle to stay in the field of play. He had both Growth and also Kenny at him. This is Wharton. He's had a great start to this match. You mentioned that test team, Mick. It's selected tonight to play New Zealand in the first test on Sunday. And that band's name must come up. Oh, Mark Murray. Off the top. Off the feet, says Mr. Gomerson. He is pushed away there by uh, Fullerton Smith. That's Lewis. Back inside, Niebling. Oh, Tesman keeping it going, but it's a bit risky. That's Fullerton Smith again. Very risky. Dummy half is Brian. Oh, no, New South Wales have got it. Penalty now. Queensland up outside. First New South Wales penalty in the match. Queensland getting the best of it in that department. Four to one at the moment. Yes, and... Uh, 
I feel they're trying to do far too much with it too quickly. I often say this, Bill, but on this occasion, I'm, I'm sure I'm right, if they just settle things down a little bit and took it easier, took the ball up, uh, and control play because they have the ball and they're, they're able to do that but they're not doing what I've said and they're off to a nice start too with a six point to nil lead yes should capitalise on that never see the Blues doing that do you <laughs> settle it right down my word they do here's Eric Grove big success on the Kangaroo Tour he ousted of course John Rebo from that spot so it'll be a great duel between these two tonight Broman coming up in defence so now Krillich works it away to Gerard it's Kanesky underneath. And then over the top is Brian Niebling doing a ton of work in the early part of this game. Krillich again. Doubling around there is Liv Boyd. Still going, Boyd. Still going. Grabbed by Scott. Let it go to Krillich. He loses it. Picked up by Sterling. So close. Very close, New South Wales. Dummy half waiting for it is Pierce. Back over there then to Ella. On it goes to Kenny. Kenny unloads it away to Sigsworth. Ooh! Great Scott cover, over defending the tackle from Scott. Beautiful stuff. Actually, that's Alan Thompson on there, Mick, uh, for New South Wales. So obviously they've thrown him in ahead of uh, Steve Ellerud, say. Krillich is going to have the shot at goal. It's Alan Thompson on there in place of... Uh, Steve Eller in the 5'8 spot. Not a bad move either. No, I still rate him the best, one of the better 5'8s going around in the world. Here we are, here's the, the replay. I tell you what, New South Wales, oh so close, but what great defence from Colin Scott. Well, he pulled it to Smith with some And also pulled it to Smith. Pulled it Smith got there first, but Scott covering the pass. So it's Phil Sigsworth, the man, to attempt to register the first points for New South Wales in this match tonight. Just on 11 minutes gone in this, the first half. Queensland's lead is 6 to nil. Sigsworth has it placed. It's not a difficult kick. On his way now. Crowd will let you know what happens with a kick. It's waved away. Take it back there. Gee, that was a bad miss, but Gee Miles has a job to get out of the in-goal area. He can't. It's him down in there, so it'll be a drop out from underneath the goal mound. Queensland under pressure. So here's Wally Lewis now, set to drop out. You're so right, Nick, they're still under a lot of pressure. It'll be Pierce sending it back to Sterling. Two of the big success stories of the Kangaroo Tour. Just up on the Queensland quarter line now, Max Krillich works it away to Pierce. Mark oh. Murray, the tackler. Murray putting him down beautifully. Morton not far away either. Krillich across to Gerard. Krillich again. Then Ray Price. Wrapped up. I rate that man, Bill, the most dangerous player in the New South Wales side. Price. Gerard the dummy half again. That's Thompson. He's going to be lost. Queensland ball. And they needed it. Take a bit of that pressure off. There's Beninga. Dummy to then went. Growth over the top. Sliding in underneath was Thompson. Daryl Broman. New South Wales. Penalty against him, elbow. Boy, did not miss Broman. And it was uh, on, no trouble at all. The elbow up. We will see it. Here it comes. Whack, right there. And it was Boyd, and he's lucky to be staying there. And Broman, Broman in a lot of trouble. You can see he just sort of looked across at him as soon as it happened. Here's another shot of it now, Michael. And I don't think he'll miss it here. There he goes. Ooh, he whiz. Not the best of business at all. Well, uh, you can see it. There's Boyd. Very lucky, fiery lucky player. Very fiery customer, as we know. Daryl Broman still receiving attention. I feel that uh, that could be serious because uh, he did not miss did he? No way in the world and he's not what you'd call a lightweight either Mick is he? Roman's still on the ground sitting there. There's Boyd again. Lewis has, has a lot of feeling isn't he? He's like a praying mantis looking at his prey. And uh, the Queensland players just standing there looking all the time at Daryl Roman. I don't think they'd be too happy about it. They don't show much on the outside but I'd say internally Mick there's Artie Beetson. I don't think Arthur would be too happy about that either. 
It's amazing how all coaches take up chain smoking immediately the pressure's on. You notice that, Bill? Well, it sure is. Now, there's a shot of Broman you can just see him there. He's in a lot of pain. Oh, uh, yes. I'd say he's in a lot of, lot of trouble. Well, there's that uh, ready-made replacement sitting on the sideline in Dave Brown. Not that we want to see Broman go off the field, but if he's not going to be 100%, and I don't think he is. Here's another look at it now. There's Broman on his way through. There's oh. Boyd. Gee, the more I see it, the more it's starting to hurt me, I think. Oh, I'll tell you what. He's got to keep going, Daryl Broman. Now, that will fire up this Queensland side, I would imagine. Here's the kick for touch by Mal Meninga. Queensland leading six points to nil here at Lang Park. Ted Glossop, New South Wales coach. Seems rather composed, doesn't he? Another penalty coming up. New South Wales offside. Thompson. If looks could kill, I've often said it, Thompson has a quizzical look looking at referee Gomerson. And there's Ray Price. So, another kick for goal for Mal Meninga. Well, watch Price. I wonder if he'll go into that pose of his of the post. Sure he will. He's uh, lining up for it now, as a matter of fact. 13 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Just having a look at Daryl Broman through the binoculars, Nick. And, uh, his jaw is gone, says Wally Lewis. Got a broken jaw. He's calling to the touchline, obviously looking for Darryl, uh, for uh, Dave Brown to come onto the field. There's no doubt about what happened. He's got a broken jaw. I don't think Broman can keep going like that. The only other person we know that's done that is a fellow called Sattler. Yes. Here's Meninga. It's on its way. And it is there. Another two points on the board. Queensland have a lead of eight points to nil. Arthur Beaton down on the touchline, Dave Brown lining up, Lewis has gone across there while that kick was on to uh, talk uh, to them and let them know what the situation is, Darrell Roman obviously with a broken jaw and it's not much use of him being on the field if that's the case Queensland losing it back behind them but recovering, Meninga losing it on that occasion Fullerton Smith about to play it, dummy half is Kanescu, tackler is Ray Price Wharton, dummy half Murray, Needling Tackler over there is Pierce. Kanescu to Mark Murray. Back inside to Tessman. Tackler there was uh, Wayne Pierce again. Mark Murray. Sent a long one. Fullerton Smith keeps it going to Meninga. He has Boyd in front of him. Cuts back infield. Tackle there by Buckton. Or rather Krillich. Final tackle. Mark Murray. Lewis. Trying to get it back between Anderson and Brentwell, but not successful. New South Wales full back up to the halfway mark. Stacey's underneath. Flying it over the top, Gene Miles. Dummy half waiting for it is Thompson. Ooh, there's a cruncher. And that was Broman. Well, if he's got a broken jaw, he's not worrying too much about it. He crunched into it. Oh, that was top defence. And Pierce knew all about it too. Krillich from dummy half. That's uh, Gerard. Krillich, away to Sterling, then to Buckton, well wrapped up, Niebling, Kanescu there, dummy half is Krillich again, Queensland's lead is eight points to nil, Sterling, Thompson, Sigsworth, Thompson, then away to Kenny, the smart little centre's on the move, he's looking for growth inside, he's over the quarter way, but squats there on the flying tackle of Fullerton Smith. Great cover defence from Fullerton Smith. Final tackle on the way, so we can expect a bit of business coming up here. They send it across over there to Krillich. He's going to do the bomb. Carrying back there to Colin Scott. Players coming everywhere. Lost over there. Kenny went up for it. Ooh. Is it over that dead ball line? Just made it. Knocked forward by New South Wales, and that's why Wally wasn't playing. Gained 22 metres. No, here on. it is on the replay. Scott trying. He's all set. There's the knock forward by... Uh, Brett Kenny. Kenny, and Wally doesn't touch it, hopefully, hoping that it'll go out and gain that precious distance. Great work. So now it's back onto the quarter line at Queensland in possession. Murray getting across to Broman, lets it go to Fullerton Smith. 
Broman's the dummy half. Didn't expect to see Krillitz to be the man to fire the bomb. Paul Horton making some valuable ground again. It's a good bomb too. Good bomb. Back to Miles. Not the best of kicks. Oh, I was just about play. to say that was a better one. He kicked it away from Brenton. We have been kicking it down his throat all night. Hello, I've changed. Did you notice how I said we? <laughs> OK, it's Eric Grove to Sterling. Grove again. Niebling's there. And Tessman's underneath. They're a couple of metres inside their own territory, New South Wales. Thompson. Then to Pierce. Wrapped up about still a couple of metres short of halfway. Now Krillix over there to Bugden. He's lost it. They could have knocked it back into his hands, did they? Who's got it here? No, Tedescu. To Lewis. Straight through the hole. Lewis is away. Tackled from behind by Boyd and pulled out about 24 metres out. Through that gap in the will of the wisp. Tedescu, way to Niebling. Queensland on the boil again. That's a New South Wales quarter. Another penalty against Boyd. He'll get time. Ten minutes in the sin bin. Not unexpected. No. Larry Boyd. There he goes. Ten minutes in the sin bin from referee Barry Gomesall. And the bad boy of Australian Rugby League does it again. He's not much use to the team in the sin bin. And here it comes. He didn't miss. We didn't see it there clearly. Here it is side on. You'll see as Needling falls, here it comes. It was the intent, but he missed. He missed all right. Tell you what, I think he put a fart in his hair though. <laughs> so now it's Melbourne Inca with another one dead set in front. Another two points on the board for Queensland, I would imagine. I see Needling held his face. It must have been the heat of it in passing, uh, Bill, because he went into a top act, did Brian Needling. Well, it's up to a good bit of business for New South Wales because this will be another two points, I would imagine. And Boyd's off for ten minutes, so it hasn't helped the cause much at all. No. So now we'll see Mal Meninga taking plenty of time with it. I think it's Wally Lewis talking about his joy, you know. There's the praying Manda style. Here's Meninga on his way. And he's put it through, so Queensland lead New South Wales 10 points to nil after 19 minutes of play. Coming back onto the halfway mark, it'll be Phil Sigsworth to uh, kick off the New South Wales. It's been a fine start from this Queensland team. Probably about the only blemish, Mick. They've lost possession on a couple of occasions. Yes, and uh, I think it would be the dew on the ball. I know New South Wales haven't probably dropped it as much, but uh, Queensland seem to have had it far longer for far longer periods. That's Mark Murray. Dummy half is Greg Canescu. Miles away then to Niebling. Gee, he's done plenty in this first 19 minutes of the game. Had a very, left a very big impression so far. Lost back by Borton. Wally Fullerton-Smith, the man to end up with it. Queensland not exactly storming ahead uh, at this stage there. They've been locked around that quarter line for a while. Final tackle. So it'll be Gene Miles. Very high kick. That'll test Brentwell out a bit. There's plenty of height there. No worries for this fullback. Who decides to take his time. Stacey comes running at him and gives away the penalty. Stacey obviously thought that everything was right. Well, we'll have to look at the rule book again, Stacey, because that was ridiculous. Any schoolboy knows. There's Glossop thinking how lucky he is to have a player in the opposition breaking the rules so easily. So we'll see Greg Brentnell now with uh, a kick for touch. And he shouldn't have much trouble. Gaining some valuable ground. And he's a fine kicker for touch, this fellow. So New South Wales will take the tap about 30 metres out from the Queensland line. And that's Max Krillix, their captain. Way it goes into the front row of Buckton. And Krillich up again as dummy half. Plenty of Queensland defence in there, Mick. Yes, it's good defence, Bill. They're holding that line beautifully. That's Brad Tesman underneath uh, Pierce, as you can see. Sterling away there to Chris Addison from that wing. He's lost the ball. Queensland will end up with it. That's superb defence from Queensland. You can't 
knocked them for that. It was Mark Murray, the man underneath there. Sterling going for Wally Lewis now. Oh, gee, Gerard letting one go too, but missing. Now it's going to be stolen there by Sigsworth. The referee is going to give a penalty. He had to. No, not played correctly. Sigsworth not happy about it. But gee, they put a bit on on Lewis then. Yes, Wally uh, put a little bit in when he went in for the tackle. But <laughs> oh, well, as he was carrying the ball, I probably should say. And Gerard reacted. Well, Chris Anderson might stay on that wing again. He came in for a one. Here it is now. You can see it there. Lewis appealing against it, but... Uh... But don't argue. It's what Gerard didn't like at all. So now this is Daryl Broman feeding it away then to Fullerton Smith. They're just short of the halfway mark. You just can't quite see it, but there it is now. You can see it just on the left of your screen. All lost by Paul Horton. I would venture to say he had a bit of a look there. Lost by Sterling. Murray's after it. Taking it on the toe, but Brentnell's there. He's knocked it on. Play on. Oh, Queensland up. Number than Lewis, but he's pulled it up for a penalty. Mark Murray turns around and says, why, oh, why? Lewis away on the quarter line. Meninga inside. Stacey outside. A mile's not far away. But the whistle had blown possibly before Wally before uh, the murder blow yes well here it is as you can see Murray was out after it now there's Thompson keeping and he's blown the whistle well before Wally yes. took off and uh, how unfortunate look at Wally going oh dear oh dear so Meninga's going to have a shot at goal gee that could have been that, a vital one. Oh, that would have cooked New South Wales's goose completely He's calling on another player. He's calling for that touchline again. I can see Dave Brown getting his tracksuit off again. So Lewis, yes, there's Broman going to leave the field now. Daryl Broman leaves for Queensland. Has been replaced by Dave Brown. Broman not recovering from that very heavy jolt. And here's Dave Brown coming onto the field. He came up this afternoon on standby following the illness of Paul McCabe. Failed to get the run on, but he's there now. And here's Meninga looking for another two-pointer. It's on its way. How's the direction? Direction is good. It's all okay. It's another two points. Queensland at 12. New South Wales a nil. And they're running away with it. So far. <laughs> I seem to recall another State of Origin match here. There's Arthur. He'd be very resplendent tonight too, isn't he? Yes. I recall another occasion, Mick, when New South Wales built up a big 15-0 lead. But Queensland came back pretty strongly. Yes, let's hope it doesn't happen to Queensland tonight. <laughs> That's Dean Miles. It's been quite a long time since Dave Brown wore number eight too in Australia. So there he is. Up onto the quarter line is Gene Miles. Molly Fullerton-Smith. I think the crowd are a little bit stunned, Mick. They're not quite as vocal as they normally are. No, they're... Uh, I think they're waiting for New South Wales to explode into action, but nothing's happening at all. Still, there's a fair way to go in this match. 24 minutes gone in the first half. There's Lewis. He's got it away from Grove. That's a great kick by Lewis. Had a New South Wales player draped around him as he got rid of it. There's right. Ted Glossop saying, what am I doing up against a bloke like this? Would you mind moving away, he says to the camera, but uh, here's the kick from Wally, and he certainly did. He had a blue Guernsey hanging off his bootlace as he kicked that one. Here's Sterling getting it away to Thompson, who decides to go himself, but Lewis is there, crashes him to the ground. So now, this is Pierce. Queensland's lead is 12 to nil. Bulletin Smith again, reminiscent of his performance in the KB Cup against North Sydney. Tackles half as good as that. They'll feel it. Well, there's Wharton underneath this time. Fullerton Smith was over the top. Sterling. This is uh, Bugden. Well, I said these fellows in the front row for New South Wales would be doing plenty, but they have not done anything so far. Sterling's going to kick the line. Going back is Colin Scott. It's not going to find touch. No, it's not. Scott takes it. He looks around, he's going to have to run it out. That's Brett Kenny, he's away from him. Sterling's after him, he's away from him. Doesn't get away from Pierce though. Different story running into Wayne Pierce. It's John Rebo who's gone hunting. 
tackler there was Bugden. Kineski head down, Pierce again. Queensland starting to settle that play a little bit, Bill, and uh, they look much better. I know it's slowed down the game, but that's what they should do. There's Meninga, well wrapped up. Price over there, together with Tita Ball flying loose. And whether Meninga was trying to get a pass away or not, there's Boyd setting out his time, looking at that clock. Waiting to get back there and Adam. Now Sterling swinging it across to Thompson, who's lost it. Lewis is there. Can he get it? Yes, he can. A maroon ball. Lewis pushing away Thompson as he goes to play it. This is Dave Brown touching the ball for the first time of the match. Gets up to the halfway mark too. Take that, I'm here. I've arrived at Lang Park. This is Borton. The Queensland lead is 12 to nil. The dummy half is Kineskew. That's Murray. Niebling, tackler was Sterling. Good work from Niebling, had a look and then went, which is great stuff. Now the crowd's starting to come alive a bit. That's Gene Miles. Plenty of tacklers there. Gerard and also Krillich. Here's Lewis. The grabber kick for line, it won't find it. Brentnell's over there. But so too is the front rower in Tasman. Puts him to the ground on the quarter line. Haven't seen a great deal of New South Wales in the Queensland half. They've lost it again. Mark Curry with it. They're making many mistakes, New South Wales, and it's bringing them undone, but all oh, Stacey's dropped it. Well, they've lost the ball on seven occasions, New South Wales. Queensland losing it on six occasions. So now that's Chris Anderson playing it. Sterling. Ooh. New South Wales losing it. That was Pierce. Mark Murray again. Whenever they lose it, Murray seems to be there. So now Brad Tessman is dummy half. They're inside the New South Wales quarter. Day Brown going for a run. Got it away nicely to Niebling. Picked up by Rebo. Well, there's going to be a knock-on in there. Rebo knocked it on. Ever so minute, but he did. Unfortunately, good run from Brown. He's making his presence felt. He's only touched the ball on a couple of occasions since he's been there, but made very valuable ground on each occasion. Sterling. He's quickly uh, full to the, of the ground. Smith jumped right on top of him. And Niebling wasn't far away either. Eric Grudd says, I want to have a bit of this. But he's wrapped up. That's Wharton underneath. Over the top, Day Brown. Krillich feeding it away then to... Oh, they've lost it again. That was a front row bug. And Murray again to get the ball. He's cover defending in the back of the line, Bill. That's why he's always there. He's doing a great job. Lewis sending it away to Miles. Back inside of Meninga. Meninga will be taken by Sigsworth, though. Dummy half Lewis is still inside the New South Wales quarter. They're putting on the pressure again. Back to Murray. Niebling. Kept it going. That's Colin Scott. Tackled by Sterling. Can't get it away. Murray to dummy half. Trying to slip through. New South Wales defence is there though. Once again, Queensland settling it. Canescu, he puts his head down. Only metres out now, the final tackle. What will Bobby Lewis do here? He's up there as dummy half. He'll go himself, puts his head down again. Lewis looked around everywhere and then decided to take it and go. And we know what his strength is like close to that line. We saw it a couple of weeks ago. Very similar try. He had a blue jersey on for Valleys. But watch him take off. Actually, he undid the other. Here he goes. I'm off. And all oh, the defence was perfect. And have a look at Ray Price. He's the man just hanging around Lewis there. He's still sitting on the ground. He can't believe it. He's hurt in the tackle. But Wally Lewis summed it up beautifully. Looked all about the place. Mick gave the every impression to the world that he was going to kick it, throw it, do anything. Well, actually, yeah, I thought he was going to do the short kick, and so did New South Wales. But, oh, if he's not one of the better footballers in the world, I'm not here. That's what I like about Queensland. We can all share the good life. When the last horse is bucked and the bulldog is gone, it's time for a cold one, son. When she says, what'll it be? Tell her for me. Make it a 4X, mate. Make it a 4X, mate. 
You needn't go hunting for bargains because Chandler's stock take sale is on and you might remember that means a monster of a sale with monstrous markdowns. Look, Hoover Automatic Washers slashed $40 to $429. Sanyo Microwave Ovens down $10 to $249. Rover Electric Munchers with free cultivator only $249. Monster savings that come once a year. Don't miss out. They're at Chandler's right now. We stand behind the product we sell. Come with me for five jolting tales of horror. Great show. It will shock you. It will grow on you. It will swamp you. It will devour you. And it will really give you the creeps. Creep show. The most fun you'll ever have being scared. <laughs> Commences Thursday at Aspley, Richlands, Cannon Hill, Redcliffe and Beanley Drive-Ins. Introducing the Wind Cheater from Mitsubishi. New South Wales uh, in a group. stunned group, I'll tell you. Uh, we haven't seen anybody really get going for the Blues tonight. Well, Where it's we... a bit hard when you're being thumped in great defence. I notice the trainer's out there. He'll be passing on a few words from Ted Blossop. Meninga converts Queensland with a big lead over New South Wales. It's 18 points to nil. And I can see a few casket tickets flying out the hip pocket of Mr. One, Mr. Beavers, Bill. <laughs> I think you'll be the recipient of the first. <laughs> but I'd be only too happy to pay them because Queensland are playing brilliant. Right, we're back onto the halfway mark and Phil Sigsworth to bring it up. New South Wales losing the ball on several occasions. They've been vital occasions. They've lost it on nine occasions so far. I tell you what, they don't seem to have any uh, answer at all to Queensland steadying play down and uh, they're watching for things that are going to happen and while they're watching, Lewis is doing it. Well, Queensland were getting a little bit over-anxious early in the piece, yes. weren't they? But, uh, They've settled things down beautifully. This is Greg Kanescu from Dummy Half. Back it goes to Gene Miles. And it's nice to have a big kicker like Miles in the team that can take over a bit of the pressure off Lewis, because invariably he's the one that... Uh, look at those Maroons up there. Brentwell said, hey, they're offside, but bang. Mr. Gobbleson said, play the game, I'll do the referee. In goes Brian Niebling to take care of him. That's Sterling swishing it across. Queensland giving a penalty away. Well up offside, Brad Tesman. And Wally Fullerton-Smith. And so they'll... Uh, Phil Sigsworth bringing the ball up, but it will be uh, Greg Brentnell to kick for a touch over there. There's a few of the New South Wales players not in the team tonight. Reddy, Mortimer. They've been presented with gold medallions uh, earlier tonight, all of the members of the Kangaroo team. For so their being undefeated, Bill. Prior Great the, effort. Prior to the kickoff here tonight, we're all presented with gold medallions. So it's New South Wales about 10 metres inside Queensland Territory. There's a rather stunned look on the on watches, those fellows. <laughs> and you could see that they weren't real happy, or they're happy not to be out there. Well, that's Wayne Pearce. Now, Pearce, we saw him run around everywhere against England, but uh, suddenly they find what a bit of a pinch is all about here tonight. And there's a Queensland ball with Brad Tesman getting on top of it. Boyd throwing a very loose pass. Now he's back on no, the field. No, they've stolen it back. It was lost by Tesman. Sterling ended up with it. So it's another six tackles for New South Wales. Krillich in there as dummy half. He's got a bit of work to do to get this team moving into it. Bugden, the man with the ball now, I thought would perform much better, but he's just trotting into the defence. Sterling getting away to Boyd. Flicks it back inside. Sigsworth, Sterling again. Got away from Kanescu's tackle. There's Price. Underneath is Mark Murray. Or rather, uh, Philip and Smith there. So used to seeing Murray in just about everything tonight. Sterling, Queensland getting right up on top of them. That's where that grubber kick came in. It was tied across field. Lewis got a hold of it. It went behind Eric Grove. And so a scrum. A couple of metres inside Queensland territory. Dave Brown on the open side of the scrum for Queensland. Waiting for Sterling to feed. Comes out to Eric Grove. Horton's over there. But eventually Lewis is the man to take care of him. Horton was underneath. Tell you what, he's a strong player, isn't he, Grove? Oh, yes. Here's uh, Les Boyd now. He's pretty well wrapped up there. 
just under eight minutes remaining to half time Gerard Pollock and Smith once again Bill his defence is impeccable Krilich cuts out Price gets it to Thompson then Kenny over the top here's Anderson with a little bit of room to move back inside to Brentnell Brentnell will be taken though Paul Vorton over there doing a great job in the lock forward posse Sterling Pierce Kenny unloads it this time to Bugden Lewis is there coming into it is Meninga final tackle here's a bit of action Sterling to Sigsworth it'll carry back there towards Colin Scott he'll get out of the in goal area yes he will and so tonight they're cheering Scott last weekend they were saying what a wretched player he was when he dropped one or two here's Rebo Rebo bad news you've covered that nicely I won't say any more forced into touch by Kenny and also Eric Groth I would imagine that Groth would be hard enough to contend with on your own let alone Brett Kenny in there and he seemed to be the man that did most of the driving of him into touch so now here's New South Wales putting on some pressure getting up to play at his Pierce Krillich over there to the front row at Gerard wrapped up they've lost it dived out by Queensland they'll get it come on Scott the man there Lewis having another great game, Nick. Oh, yes. I don't think I've seen him have a bad one. Here's Miles taking it out like a good forward. <laughs> yes, he's, uh, he's developed a real bullocking run, hasn't he? Tessman. Oh, he gathered. <laughs> oh, the luck of the Irish. I've given that one away. Back to Meninga. He's going to have a kick this time. He's been tackled by Price just as he was well, just around the same time as he's kicking, put it that way. Here's Brentnell. You're being nice again. Yes, well. <laughs> Price thumped him just after he got rid of it. Price seems to be having a bit of injury problem there, Mick. I noticed him limping back. Penalty to New South Wales in the meantime. I believe it was Price that did something nasty about Wally Lewis. Here it is again. Yes, he said that... Oh, yes. Wally was just an ordinary footballer. He said he wouldn't make it in Sydney. I see. Interesting comment. Wall's going reasonably well tonight. Well, for someone that wouldn't make it down there, he's doing rather well all round. That's Dave Brown. Up and under. And down goes Jeff Bugden. Gee, they're getting in each other's road here. That's Eric Growth. He cut across in front of Boyd. They're just inside the Queensland quarter line. Still fairly important for Queensland to keep New South Wales scoreless to the half-time break. Make it would be a great lead at half-time, wouldn't it? Oh, yes. 18 to nil. Unbelievable. This is Sterling. Got it around the corner to Boyd. Boyd lets it go. Growth will pick it up. He'll score. Eric Growth took it on the bounce. There's the first New South Wales try just as we speak. And it's 18 points to four here at Lang Park. And it was Sterling. That will of the whisper. You've got to watch all the time. Uh, Getting away, watch him, he does a little bit of a step inside, goes through, gets the ball in front, and a lovely pass to Boyd, and Boyd passes it to the invisible man, because it took a while for Growth to run onto it. There was no one there, and over at the ball. We'll have another look at that one. Uh, this is the high shot, I'll give you an idea of how they go now. There's Bullock and Smith and Tessman from either side, but it allowed Sterling to get it away. Now Boyd, who swings it, hoping I feel that Growth is there. And he is on the first bounce. Colin Scott and Rebo there, but uh, it's all too late. And he's in for the try. The first New South Wales try of the match with four and a half minutes from half time. Jack Nicholson is Henry Moon. We're closed! A slippery third rate outlaw about to feel the swift tug of a noose. Hello, son. Go to hell. I understand. But Henry has one last chance. If a property holding woman should claim him... Let me see my bride! Now his life was just beginning. I'll never forget you, Hermione. You was the first woman I didn't have to pay for. Jack Nicholson stars in Going South. First time on television, Sunday night, 8.30 on Channel O. Queensland, we can 
all share the good life. To prove a point, a number of Brisbane business telephones were listed only in the telecom yellow pages. The calls were counted. We've had over 400 calls in the last six weeks through the yellow pages. For us, as a young, small company, this is tremendous. Two 67 phone calls from the yellow pages, a 30% increase in our business into areas we've never been into before. There's no doubt. For value and full Brisbane coverage, Telecom Yellow Pages gets the results. We prove it. Yellow Pages, worth its weight in gold. All these stories broke too late for your morning newspaper, but you could read about them in detail in The Telegraph. You could read today's news today. Red Hot Sports News in detail that you won't have read in the morning. It's all in the Telegraph. And don't forget your daily Telegraph bonus. Information-packed features with something for everybody. Don't wait until tomorrow to read today's news. Read today's news today. Vroom. My dad's a spaceman. Not an astronaut, though. He's one of the spacemen at Crown Lift Trucks. They're called the space people because they show other dads how to use storage space better. Dad says Crown make a lift truck to solve just about any space problem. He says a Crown lift truck is like having extra rent free storage space. Bet my dad can beat your dad's space problems. Call Crown 3457300. Well, I should imagine a, a great psychological advantage to go in, uh, leading by 18 nil at the half time break. But at the moment today, it's 18 to 4. And I'll have to say this again, but those, that front row of New South Wales is basically walking, not doing their work at all. And we could see a few changes at half-time. I don't know what he can do because he only has Ray Brown, Ted Glossop, the New South Wales coach, only has Ray Brown to push in there somewhere. Well, a great deal he can do. Here's Sigsworth attempting to convert the try. It's online. It's a good kick by Sigsworth. It's another two points for New South Wales. Queensland are 18, New South Wales 6. There's Arthur reaching for another cigarette. He could be the Winfield man of the match if he keeps going at that rate. There's $1,000 for that player tonight, Mick. We'll have him uh, uh, at the end of this game. We'll be able to let you know who the Winfield man of the match is. $1,000. Not a bad night out. Well, in the first 40 minutes, there's one man who stands out quite a little bit out there. We'll see how they go in the next 40. That's Ray Price. And that is the New South Wales quarter line you can see. Les Boyd sends it away to the front. Here's a go by Pierce. Still going. Coming across is Meninga. Stacey from the other side. They combine. He's lost it. Mark Murray's here again. Still going, Murray. Eventually upended over there by Boyd. Oh, great, great defence from the centre, Stacey, and also Mal Meninga. But look at that Mark Murray. He's just following that ball, and that's what he's been told to do. And you cannot do more than that. Fullerton Smith is dummy half. He's done well in his first interstate match, Mick. Oh, has not put a foot wrong. Called in at the last minute with uh, Paul McCabe, having to sit it out due to that stomach disorder that started last night and bothered him right throughout the day. Fullerton Smith came into the second row and Paul Vorton went to lock forward. And it's been a great success. So has this fellow since he's been there. Oh, I tell you what, they said he had a bad game against the countryside. Tell you what, he's having a boomer since he's been out there. Over the top to Stacey. Stacey straight ahead. Got away from Sterling. Got away from Anderson. Sends her back inside. Lost by Tesman. New South Wales will end up with it. That's Brentnell. Oh, top run though from Stacey. He ran over the opposition winger. Yes, Chris Anderson didn't Anderson know much had about no it. chance. Put one foot on his toes, one on his belly button, and ran clean off his ear. <laughs> that's a very graphic way of describing it, Michael. I've... Well, if you're Anderson, that's about how it would feel. <laughs> that's Boyd up there. Dummy half, of course, Krillich. That's Pierce. Haven't seen much of Pierce. No, Wayne Pierce has not been able to run, Michael. That's a simple story of it. Yes, great defence. And he's getting up very slowly there. 
Sterling letting it go to Sigsworth. Bullock and Smith on the spot, even though Sigsworth fell over. Don't give an inch. That's the story of it. Back to Brentnell. He'll put the boot underneath. Colin Scott going back there. Stacey also, of course, as it rolls down towards the quarter line, but he'll leave it to the fullback. He was there in case it started running towards that touch line. There's Brentnell. Put more of a shoulder into it there. Didn't worry Colin Scott. Back to Lewis. Could be a bit of trouble coming up. John Rebo. Gene Miles was outside, but he decided to let stay with it. He wasn't even looking for Miles, unfortunately. Miles has got it this time, though. Tackler there will be the front row of Buckton. A minute remaining to half time. Queensland with a great lead of 18 to 6. That's Tessman. Unloads it. Murray picks it up. He's lost it. Regather. No, he didn't regather. It'll be uh, Buckton diving on it. A blue ball. New South Wales losing the ball on 12 occasions in this first half. Queensland losing at nine. Uh, scrums at this stage in the match. Uh, going uh, New South Wales way 5-1. And the penalties are... Oh, and a little bit of nonsense nine, going on there between Paul Vorton and Boyd. Two second rows in Manly and Sydney. There's five minutes. No, Dave Brown's a man. Is he? No. Yes, he is. Dave Brown's a man to get five minutes. Well, uh, he put, it was certainly going on between Vorton and, uh, here it is, you'll see it again. Now look at Vorton, he goes swish, rubs the old elbow, Brown is doing nothing. It's all Vorton, and Vorton has escaped. And here's a, a bomb to put a bit of pressure on, coming into the half-time break, Colin Scott takes it. He won't be able to run it out though. He was thinking about passing it in the end goal area, but I think he might have remembered an interesting game last year. When a player did that? Yes. That's it. Half time at Lang Park. Queensland lead New South Wales 18 points to 6. Back in a moment for the second half. Wales ready for the charge as the kickoff comes up with Peter Sterling. Sends it down to Colin Scott, who takes it. Running across, straightens up there, Sterling. And also coming into the tackle is Jeff Buckton. Queensland with a half-time lead. It's 18 points to six. Well, Michael, what do you think for the second half? Can New South Wales come back? The big question. Well, they'll have to do much more attacking than they did in that uh, first half, and they'll have to hold the ball because uh, the Queensland defence was that hot as their attack has been. Uh, but uh, they were making New South Wales drop the ball Actually, both teams are dropping the ball, but New South Wales seem to do it, uh, well, what shall we say, when things were at their worst, and Queensland took advantage of it, and did play the better football. That's but Paul Morton. He's had a good first half. Oh, yes. Uh, Queensland, all the Queenslanders, particularly Fullerton Smith, thrown into the breach. He's fired. Dave Brown, when he came on for the injured Darrell Broman, has fired very well indeed. Wally Lewis, a real top captain's game, Wally. And... Uh, well, everybody in that Queensland side has been playing well. Probably Tessman has dropped the ball on a few occasions, but I'd say that was nerves in his first match, but he seems to have settled down now. Two tries in the first half for Queensland, scored by that man, Wally Lewis. He's done to throw it around a bit, Mick, in this uh, early part of the game. It's coming undone a little bit, but here's Stacey. Still Stacey with a bit of a chance to show himself. Brett Kenny is the tackler. Two tries by Wally Lewis, five goals by Mal Meninga, five from five. There's Daryl Brayman on the sideline, you just saw him with uh, an ice pack to his jaw and I'm not surprised, Michael. Oh, that was a nice old hefty hit from Boyd. There's Jeff Gerrard. Well, the New South Wales forwards, that's where they've been most disappointing. Bugden, Gerrard, Pierce, who hasn't run too much all night. Boyd, Boyd's, let, well, we knew he was out there, he made his presence felt, but not in a good footballing way. Uh, didn't was no added bonus to his team. There's Broman perspiring profusely and holding the ice pack to the side of that jaw. I wonder what the thoughts are going through his head. Yes. Anyway, here's New South Wales with it now. That's Pierce. Final tackles uh, on its way. And the man I thought that really would fire Ray Price has had a very quiet day. Here's Sterling. Brentnell's coming through. They're all flying through. Stacey's over here. He jumps up. It's out of his hands. Taken by Thompson. Thompson burrowing for the line. If he can get it down, it's a try. Gomesell says no try. Thompson says it was a try. Lewis said, I've got a sore head. <laughs> Ray Price not happy. We'll have a good look from here. This I'll tell you what, it didn't go down. Not that I could see. what happened
happened in there, Nick? Oh, we can't say because we can't see what went on. No. So now we have a scrum. But I'm certain the New South Wales contingent will not be happy with the way Gomesall has refereed the game. This is Mark Murray. Nice covering tackle there by Pierce. Dummy half, Paul Vorton. Can't, can't blame the referee uh, for their bad play, can you, Bill? No, certainly. For New South Wales, a try by Eric Groth. And uh, we've seen Sixworth kick one goal from two attempts. It's the scoring of the first half. Wally Lewis. He certainly uh, took care of Alan Thompson in this first half. They brought Thompson on in place of Steve Aller. It's John Rebo. Well, Queensland on this occasion passing the ball just for passing sake. They'll have to do something with it. Well, there's uh, the big strong kick by Gene Miles. Greg Bretnell is back there. New South Wales, an Australian fullback. And, of course, the test team announced after this game tonight will be selected after this game tonight for the first test against New Zealand. That's in Auckland on Sunday. We'll see highlights of that first test here on Channel O. Sunday night, we'll have uh, highlights of Bunnies and Winner Manly first up. And then that'll be followed by highlights of the first test between Australia and New Zealand. 6.30 Sunday night, exclusively on Channel O. Les Boyd. It's amazing they haven't brought Brett Kenny into the 5'8 position. Uh, I would have done that from the start, to yes. be quite perfect. I can't understand their thinking in New South Wales because that back line has not functioned. Of course, it hasn't been allowed to function. Great defence from Queensland, but look at it. Uh, Pierce the ball and no one around to support the player. It's dreadful looking play from New South Wales. Here's Amanda lose it. Wally Lewis, the one to get it for Queensland. Here's Dave Brown. Oh, Murray going without it. It'll be dived on for New South Wales by the fullback Brent North. So both teams losing the ball quite a deal here. 13 times by New South Wales, 10 by Queensland. It seems a lot more for New South Wales, but as you say, Nick, it was at fairly vital stages. That's Pierce. He's tackled by Canescu. Max Krillich. Hands on the hip, says Ted Glossop. A very pensive look from the New South Wales coach. Driving the fence from Queensland. Has been all night. We're playing New South Wales at their own game, and they're not coming up too well. Now, Sterling with a pass to no one. Thompson going back to retrieve for New South Wales. And that's the thing that good defence does. Makes players panic. Here's Brentnell. He'll try to find touch, but there's no chance of it the way it bounced. Colin Scott is there. Still going as a fullback. Eventually tackled by Sigsworth. Nice run, Colin Scott. Fullerton Smith to Murray. To Tessman. Well, he's put his all into it. He's uh, done his little bit. Mark Murray, Meninga. Then Lewis lurking out there. The ball flying high. Rebo ends up with it. Kenny over there to take care of him. And also into the tackle was Thompson being pushed away on that occasion by Gene Miles. with that stint in the forwards, Mick, whenever he's surrounded by players, he seems to drive even harder. Yes, it's uh, really improved his play. It's Fullerton Smith. They're about eight metres short of the halfway mark. They're dead set in centre field at this stage. Mark Murray, through the gap almost, but lost his footing. Eventually grabbed there by Jeff Gerrard. Brian Niebling. Ooh, loose pass. They retain it. Bit lucky. Meninga, the big shot is going after it, Brentnell's back there, he'll get a good bounce. Oh, Meninga crashed into the ground. Don't have to tell you about it, you saw it for yourself. And you probably were like me and felt it from here. This is Eric Groth, one of the danger men, but Rebo's there and Collins got underneath. Oh, didn't Meninga run right slap bang into Brentnell? Actually, I don't think Meninga came out of his best either. Notice him in the back play, Mick, he's, he looks as though he's uh, hurt himself in that tackle. But I don't think Bretnell will be 100% either. Although he's lurking up outside Sigsworth now. But he sends it back the other way to Jeff Gerrard. Then on to Ray Brown, who's on the field for New South Wales. Buckton seems to be the man that's disappeared from the field. Number 13, not... Yes, he's still out there. Ray okay. Price is the man who's left. Yes. 
So that'll mean a rearrangement of the New South Wales pack. We'll see what happens when they uh, do pack down in the next scrum. This is Sterling. Knocked down by Rebo. Queensland player's got to be offside. Meninga out on the wing at present while that's going on to have a little bit of a spell. Want an ID on this guy pronto. Could Mike Farrell be guilty of murder? One minute she was here and then she was gone. The special police task force think he did it. No, this isn't possible. So does the media. According to the cops, you're a prime suspect. Now Mike Farrell must fight to prove his innocence. He is the prime suspect. His only hope is the woman who accused him. Mike Farrell, star of MASH, is the prime suspect. A very special movie for the first time on television. The Prime Suspect, Monday night, 8.30, Channel O. because Chandler's Stock Tech sale is on and you might remember that means a monster of a sale with monstrous markdowns. Look, Sunbeam Sandwich Toasters down $4 to $21.95. Hoover Vacuum Cleaners slash $30 to $99. Sunbeam Clock Radios just $29.95. Save $50 on Hannah Mix Video Games now only $99. Monster savings that come once a year. Don't miss out there at Chandler's right now. We stand behind the product we sell. of the 60s. Buy volume one, receive volume two, absolutely free. 40 of the biggest songs of the 60s. By all the original artists. Remember. What values of a snow white Million sellers of the 60s. Only 10.99. Now that's 60s value. We've got Bobby Rydell, The Drifters, Lloyd Price, Walt Del Shannon, Chubby Checker, Tommy Rowe, Bobby V, and more. The million sellers of the 60s, only $10.99. That's right, buy volume one, receive volume two, absolutely free. Here are two ways to approach the same materials handling problem. Knuckleheads on the left. Uh-oh. So much for the many hands make light work method. The guy on the right is a lot smarter. He's using a crown forklift and walking away with the job. Too bad, fellas. Crown forklifts from just $1,899 for this 500 kilogram capacity model. The fork truck alternative. Phone 345-7300. Here's the kick, which is definitely offside to Queensland players. Miles, he could do... Now, pick it up, mate, eh? OK, now we'll see a tap by New South Wales, right on the Queensland quarter line. So now, let's see what they can do from here. Queensland's lead is 18 points to six here at Lang Park. And we've had eight and a half minutes of the second half. No points on the board in the second half. One change to the New South Wales lineup. Ray Price has just left the field. And uh, his replacement now is Ray Brown. That's Thompson away to Brentnell. Ooh, Murray going a little bit high, swinging through the air. Paul Wharton was the other tackler. That's Ray Brown now. One-headed pass to Max Crooks. It's club mate. It's not always teammate. They <laughs> seem to take it in turns with the hooking department down there. Jeff Gerard unloads it nicely to Boyd. <laughs> That's top defence to stop Boyd on the burst there. There was only two players. Here's the final tackle. They let it go. Sterling, quick hands. Thompson, back it goes to Brown. Pierce. In there this time is Anderson. I don't like his chance of getting through there, penalty. Oh, Shepard is for sure. He ran straight behind three blue Guernseys. Dave Brown in there. There's Arthur with a bit of an incredulous look on his face. Now you'll see this. They turn the ball. Now watch Anderson. He goes straight back. Straight behind Boyd. Look at that. He's diving even behind Krillich. 
and that is definitely a shepherd. No one could say different. Now Mal Meninga, he seems to have recovered. He is going to kick four touch. Thompson receiving some attention in the back play, but he's back onto his feet. Touched by growth, so we'll have a scrum, not a tap. Now this will give us an idea of what's happening in the New South Wales lineup. It's Pierce dropped back to lock forward, that's obvious. And we'd expect that, I said, yes. And Ray Brown's gone into second the second row. row. Yes. Mark Murray, tackled up there by Ray Brown. Just outside the Queensland quarter line, Steve Ellis is going to get a run now for New South Wales. Yes. Not surprised. Because that man who just passed the balls had a fine night. I well, thought you said Meninga was ill. Well, he should be after those three jumped on him, but he's handled that situation quite well. Though. He was a little bit shaky after running into Brentwell there. That's Fullerton Smith, Canescu. Uh, Thompson leaving the field now, and uh, it is, of course, Steve Eller coming on. Lost there. Dave Brown, the man. Trying to do something with, something with it, though. There's... Alan Thompson leaving the field. And this is Steve Eller, the man who's replaced him. Another one for Wally to cast aside. They've trotted a few out against him, haven't they? Yes. And, uh, nice one. This is Brett Kenny. Kenny coming up to Colin Scott. Tackled nicely by Scott. Got it. Oh, no, he didn't get it back to Groat. Groat was flying, but it's in a touch. A nice covering tackle there by Colin Scott. And not too many could catch Kenny. Here he is. They hit him with a beautiful pass, lovely dummy. Needling should have got him, number 10. Now look at this, Kenny went away from Scott, but that was a beautiful bit of defence, out over the touchline. Great work, Colin Scott. Mark Murray to feed. And a Queensland ball. Murray around the blind, but Sterling's right onto him. John Revo. up is Lewis, charging into the Molly Lewis. Ooh, gee, oh, he letting one go. That was Ray Brown. He had to let one go at. The penalty has been awarded to Queensland. <laughs> Brown was no chance of doing anything. They yeah, pulled his the, jersey over his head. Yes, yeah, like bagging a horse's head <laughs> and then uh, keeping him from shying. Well, he couldn't do anything. You beauty, Queensland. <laughs> So one and here it is. Wally goes in. Great defence there from Boyd. Oh, but then Brown comes in with a bit of nonsense. Oh, and Canescu had a nice little pick. Now they pull the Guernsey clean up over his head. And what a go on with it. And there's a Mr. Boyd breaking it up. Oh, mate, he's been converted. <laughs> he's seen the light. That's John Rebo now. Like hell. <laughs> Mark Murray feeds it away to Tessman. Tackler up there is Wayne Pierce. Tessman away again. Tell you what, Ray Brown's trying to leave his mark on the game also. And on Tessman's face. So now back over to Mark Murray. Look at New South Wales pouring through here. Lewis with nothing else to do but go inside. Did he lose it or pass it? No, he happened. lost it to the side. But it was Mark Murray there again to clean up. Whole heap of them over there. Henley's going Queensland way 12 7 at the moment. Lewis down on one knee in the back play a little bit, directing the traffic from there at this stage. Actually, they're getting onto Wally a little more in this half. So now the tap is going to be taken by Greg Canescu. That's Dave Brown. Look at the big fella go. He's over the Still going, Dave Brown. Ooh. Nice tackle by Max Grillich to pull him up. What a charging run by this big front rower. Now, Murray to Lewis. Back inside it goes to Fullerton Smith. You know, a charging up on Lewis on that occasion, but he turned it back inside. Can ask you the crowd start to jam as Murray looks for a way up the centre. He unloaded nicely to Fullerton Smith. He's only a few metres out with Sterling, the tackler. Dummy half, Canescu. They've lost it. Brentnell comes away with it. Vital time for Queensland when they lost possession, but Sterling with nowhere to go. Canescu right on top. Dummy half up there is Gerard. Rucking it out for New South Wales. 18-6, Queensland leading. 
Ray Price together with Ted Glossop anxiously watching this uh, New South Wales side trying to fight their way out of a bit of trouble on that occasion there's Ray Price talking to Glossop yes but uh, if they'd have moved the ball wide Rebo was in the middle of the ruck this is Ray Brown he's looking for support there's a bit of out two sends it back oh it's going to be lost by Anderson dived on but a knock on Ray Brown looking a little bit like a centre three-quarter of the way around. Here he goes, through the break. Bad defence once again. I don't like mentioning names, but it was Neebling. Ooh, it's going to be lost over there by Anderson. Grillich cleaned it up, but the knock-on was there, and the touch judge making a report also. Paul Borton's down. He looks as though he's had a bit of a cramp. Now penalty before they even quite get down. Moving right off the mark, New South Wales. Another penalty to the Maroons. Just a reminder that our next State of Origin match will be in two weeks' time from tonight and we'll be bringing you a telecast from uh, Sydney at 8.30 on Tuesday, 21st of July, a fortnight from tonight. The final, well, it all depends what happens, of course, in these two matches to see whether there'll be a third one. Be a lot of revamping in that New South Wales pack. Could be a bit of revamping in Australian side, which comes out tonight for the first test match against New Zealand, lost by Pierce. Bounced off the feet of Borton, he'll end up with it. Off the boot, and that's a correct decision. No one knocked it on. Tessman, uh, rather, uh, Stacey almost did there. <laughs> now, Canescu's up as dummy half. Dave Brown. Gee, he's made the most of uh, his late in, uh, appearance on the field here. This is Borton, he's done well too, he's away again. Oh, just knocked down by Kenny. Lewis going out after it. And they'll retain. Touched by the opposition. Another six tackles. Horton with a cramp again. Stacey's eventually the one to come away with it. That's Gene Miles. Back it goes to Fullerton Smith. Who's been in everything tonight. Lewis slow to get back onto his feet too. He's copped a bit of a caning in the second half. Murray. Over to uh, Niebling. Well wrapped up though. Pierce is the man underneath. Collins got to dummy half. Now Canescu. He'll find Lewis out wide. The little chip kick. Rig others. Lost though. Straight in the hands of Kenny. He gets it to Brentnell. Brentnell tackled by Canescu. Just wobbles out with Gene Miles there to take care of him. Wharton still having trouble with that cramp. Brown from dummy half. Sterling. Then Pierce. Lost it. Flying back behind a Kenny who was going to let go to Anderson, but Anderson was well forward. Kenny's away again. Pulled down by Miles. Oh, that was good defence from Gene Miles, because if Kenny had made the break, Queensland were in heaps of trouble. Anderson was outside in support. Could have been a lot of trouble, all right. This is Sigsworth. Ooh, got it back. They kept it going. That was Gerard getting it away to Sterling. Outside is Ray Brown. Hasn't he done something? Or rather, Ella. Now, ball flying everywhere. Colin Scott coming away with it and play on. Thursday night. What are you doing? You set the alarm up. A desperate criminal. Anybody gets in our way on this head. <laughs> to do more than just shove him out of car. Who must be stopped. The heavier I want them. Market robbery number seven went down 30 minutes ago. William Shatner is T.J. Hooker, a tough cop who but cares. I don't forget the victims. I'm leaving here, and that pretty little girl's going to die if you try to stop me. T.J. Hooker, Thursday night, 8.30, right here on Channel O. Uncle Lass, grab him, bag him, before it's too late. Uncle Lass, Andrew Sobedia shirts from $30, plots from $27, slacks from $21, lowest jeans from $27, brand name slacks from $23. Uncle Lass, Trayvon slacks from $40, Sunday sweats from $30, house for last joggers from $16. Uncle Lass, grab him, Uncle Lass. Bagham, Zooty suits from $99, ties from $8, Davis Freeze coats from $99, house for ass. Gillette, great moments in sport. Wimbledon 1971 men's final. Current champion John Newcomb of Australia versus Stan Smith of the USA. Newcomb defending his crown settled down to his usual powerful hard-hitting game, taking the first set 6-3. Smith fights back tenaciously and takes the next two sets. After nearly three hours and now two sets all, Newcomb strives for match point. And that's the winner. Newcomb, the champion for the second year in a row. 
high performance is handling and control. To hug every curve, high performance shaving is Gillette Contour. Contour outperforms twin blade shavers that don't pivot. They don't always stay on your face, but Contour's streamlined pivoting head keeps both blades on your face longer. To hug every curve, it shaves smoother, faster, and rinses easily. Gillette Contour. High performance shaving. 90 years and more, and still thy magic lives. Great champagne. I gentle problems of inner space. Trust British Paints? Sure can. I'll tell you what, Ray Brown has made a difference to that side. That's Brad Tessman. Queensland just looking a little tired at present, and that worries me, Bill. John Rebo. Well, they've done a lot of work in that first half. Yes, uh, but they've got to keep going, haven't they? There's 21 and a half minutes to go yet. There's Dave Brown. He's not calling it a day. Oh, he's had a great time. Mark Murray. Lewis. Shot it back inside the meeting. And now to Scott. Scott got up and started to go again. And eventually Boyd. But there's Rebo. Meninga. If they can clear it, they're a chance. Oh, no, he's wrapped up in the centre. What's happening here? Ball going in all directions. Penalty. Offside. Now, Meninga does that quite often. Well, I shouldn't say quite often, but he does it occasionally. There he is. He just runs that little bit too far with the ball. Now, if he'd have unloaded it there, just before that, he was a chance. But, uh, was, oh, it was Rafferty's rules there. It was a knock on, basically, rather than a free kick, as far as I could see. Scott trying to touch it now. Will the referee, will the touch judge pay that? No, he's not. The crowd lets the touch judge know. But they think he was wrong. So now Eric Grosser man to take the tap. He wants to get involved in this match. So New South Wales just inside the Queensland quarter. That's a New South Wales captain Max Krillich is a dummy half. He takes it again now outside of Girard. That is Bugden. Krillich up there again. Queensland's lead is 18 to 6. Still 20 minutes remaining. Three quarters of the match gone and here's a bit of trouble but they've muffled Kenny up. Six worth, but also Anderson outside. So just as well Stacey didn't get him. He would have ended up in the Burke stand. Now they keep it going, New South Wales. Pierce away then to Buckton. Back over to Gerard. To Kenny. They're starting to work it reasonably well now. But the defence keeps coming from Queensland, and that's great to see. There's Gossip once again, hoping the miracle will work. There's Ray Wayne, Price. Wayne Pierce from dummy half, Sigsworth. Boyd goes without it. Over there is Eric Growth. But the referee is uh, playing a knock-on in there. And Boyd must have got a bit of a touch there. Boyd and Brown in the second row for New South Wales. Pierce is back to lock. I'll tell you what, Queensland have been under quite a bit of pressure this last 10 to 15 minutes. They've been in their own quarter and just fighting their way to get out of it. Lewis is up his dummy half. That's Paul Horton. Recovered from that cramp that gave him a bit of a trouble a short time ago. No scoring in the second half and the uh, crowd getting a little bit unsettled, I feel. <laughs> he wants something to yell about. They had plenty of that first half. Arthur Beetson watching. Must be very pleased so far with the side. Here's a good kick, is it? No, it's not going to find touch. That's Chris Anderson. And that is a halfway mark you can see there. Plenty of Barone out after him. Stacey in from the wing. And also into the tackle, Fullerton Smith. Gene Miles underneath there too. Brenton. Sigsworth. Ella can't handle. Meninga, can he regather? Yes, he can. Very close to getting that pass away, Mick, if only he'd been able to. Yes, well, I think he could have, Bill, but he just doesn't let it happen like that. Would have been a lot of trouble mm, for New South Wales. My word, this is Vorton. Oh, Boyd. <laughs> Lucky to have a neck left, Paul Vorton. Tell you what, it'll be stiff in the morning. His work rate has been tremendous, hasn't it, Vorton? Can ask you up to the quarter line. Murray. Miles. Oh, gee, there's a late arrival. Real late. <laughs> it was a front rower in Bugden. He's been late all night. This is Mark Murray. 
Well said and covered. Now, here they go. Lewis on the bomb on the final tackle. Not a bad one. Is it going to be too far? Brent Hill's back there. He'll see it back over the dead ball line. And out to the 22 metre line they go. Just a little far. I think the chip would have been better over in the corner for the attacking players, but we can't have Wally. Here it is again. See, instead of going, I think he wanted it to go over that way, but it's hooked around a little. And uh, Bretnell very happy to see it go out over that dead ball line. That shit shot from the uh, cherry picker gives you a great idea of what that one was all about. Here's Bugden. 17 minutes remaining in the match. The first of the State of Origin games for the year. Brown back inside to Pierce. Looking for support. <laughs> Sterling found it, but Tesman right behind him. Well, saying he held him. I thought he hit him at the same time. And here it is again. We'll see it in instant replay. Uh, Pierce gets it back, and I reckon he knocked it on rather than being thumped. Did a touch and go there, I think, Michael. All right, then. Maybe I'm getting a maroon eye and planted in the middle of my forehead. Now, Max Krillich coming up. New South Wales have been putting away some pressure here. That's Peter Sterling. Now, this is uh, Bugden. They're up to the Queensland quarter line. Someone's given him a needle. He's been given the word. He won't be there next week. Gerard. Touched by the opposition. New South Wales returning. Brown. Boyd. Penalty New South Wales. Well inside the five metres. Gee, there's a couple of players down in the back play too. Bugden is one. They've got to take the tap, however. Gerard Anderson. Is the other. Sterling, Ella, Kenny. Got away from Lewis on that occasion. Tricky player. He's improved since Ellis got out on the field with him. Parramatta duo. Grillich. Or Trier with Sterling there. I think it puts him down. Dummy half is Ella. Swishes away then to Sigsworth. Murray and Vorton combined in the tackle. Queensland's lead is 18 to 6, 15 minutes remaining. Krillich back to Sterling. Kenny, Sterling. Tessman over the top underneath is Fulton Smith. The defence is magnificent, Queensland. Max Krillich, dummy half. A little bit of a run himself, Max. Ray Brown to Bretnell, but all running over the top. Needling just got a hand of it. That's Pierce. They've lost some ground there in New South Wales, but another six tackles. Needling did get a hand of that ball. Bretnell. So they're still under pressure. Bretnell came up for the kick and Anderson gave him the drum. Don't kick it, it's six to go. Max Krillich. Sterling. Then uh, the front row of Bugden. Dummy half. Krillich again. Ooh, almost through the gap, but Fulton Smith took care of him, ball and all. Great work. Steve Eller, dummy half. Sterling. Ella, Ella through, here's danger, Ella's over, yes he's in for the try, New South Wales score their second try, Queensland leading by 18 points to 10. Into this match Mick, there's still 14 minutes remaining. Yes, and uh, Queensland as I said slowing off a little, and that has let New South Wales back into this game, not that particular try, but their apathy in defence a little. Well, not so much defence in attack. They just didn't get on with it. Phil Sigsworth. There's a 50% kicking record for the evening. About to uh, attempt to improve on that. And a vital two points for New South Wales if he can do it. And there's no doubt about it. It's 18 to 12 at Lane Park. New South Wales getting just that a little bit closer. halfway mark now crucial period of play coming up for Queensland very crucial for New South Wales too here's Eric Grove going to make the most of it but the tackler there was Greg Canescu dummy half Krillich now those front rowers starting to move a little bit better Queensland not going up in defence they're going up in dribs and drabs and that's where the gaps are appearing 
Les Boyd. Krilich. Then to Bagdon. Here's Kenny. Oh, he's regathered. Stacey crashed into him. But he was able to regather. Very important for New South Wales to retain possession on that occasion. Sterling going without it. Over to Weller. Then to Bagdon. What's he doing there? Brentnell. Slowing play there. Thankfully for Queensland. Tackler was uh, Fullerton Smith again. Ooh, Sigsworth trying something cagey, but Neebling coming away with it. Now, Queensland back in possession. Tessman to Meninga. Meninga to the quarter way. Rebo comes up as dummy half. Maroons yet to score a point in the second half. They won't at that rate. They've lost it. Ella comes away with it. And New South Wales looking pretty good. They're setting it up well here. This is Brown. He gets it back to Sterling. There's Blues to burn out here, but oh, that's got to be close to forward. Here's Kenny Dangerman. Tessman going for it. New South Wales had been everywhere. Thought they were going to do a lot more with it than yes, that. And they didn't. Uh, the, their attacking ability is not good. And this man, Rebo, is coming in to get into play, but I tell you what, he'll want to handle, hang on to the ball because on three occasions he has given it back to New South Wales. Here's Greg Canescu. That's Fullerton Smith. They're 25 metres out from the New South Wales line. 18 to 12 the score. And Meninga with a big cut over his right eye. Blood pouring from it. He's out on the wing just at present. That's Dave Brown. Possibly that's why Rebo's in the middle. Here's Rebo again. Getting close to that quarter line. Field goal! So now, Genescu back to Murray. Lewis. Back to Murray. Then away to Miles. One-handed pass back to Murray again. The little fella still involved. Tessman couldn't handle. Brentnell with it. Now, if Tessman wasn't tackled before he got the ball, I'm not here. But Mr. Gomez will miss that. New South Wales with it. Taking it up. Jeff Bugden. Boyd suffering a bit of a cramp. Gerard. Queensland have got themselves back up and into the business again. That's exactly where they want to keep New South Wales at this stage. Krillich, as the time ticks away, ten and a half minutes to go. Six points the difference. Lewis telling Colin Scott to get ready for a kick back there. But it's going to be a little one. It goes straight to Rebo. There's a bit of a gap for Rebo. But Sigsworth there. Oh, I thought John Rebo could have done better than he did there. But then again, I'm up here and he's down there. It looked like a big hole from here, didn't it? It yes. looks like there was plenty of things. Could happen. Yeah. But he didn't even look for support either. And hasn't all night. Now we go. This is Gene Miles. Ooh, to Stacey, who was well up. Tell you what, Gene Miles has got a cut on his eye too, Nick. Yes. Plenty of blood pouring down there. Meninga with blood coming from the top of his eye. Miles on his left eye. And Sterling to feed. Murray at him. Fatally Queensland. Put across the mark by Krillich. <laughs> Krillich shakes his head. But uh, that doesn't... Look at him. Max not too happy. No. Penalties are five, oh, scrums rather a five ball. Penalties going Queensland way by 13 to 11. They had a lot of early penalties, but it's just about evened out. Steve Stacey. Stacey about, Stacey about 15 metres out from the New South Wales line. Time-wise, Mick, we're down into single figures. Now this is Mark Murray. We might start uh, appraising some of these personal battles that have been on tonight shortly, Mick. Yes. And, uh, Brent. Uh, some of them have been battles and some of them have been walkovers. And I think of Wally Lewis. He's had a, a great game. The second half they contained him a little more, but uh, he's had a superb game, as has every Queenslander. Ganescu letting it go. New South Wales flying up there very smartly. I'd say he's a, we're a chance of losing it here. No. Been retained. No, it's lost. Oh, it was. Dave Brown went play. Oh, there's a knock on coming up. Which has let the Maroons off the hook a little bit. 
get the pressure back on New South Wales. Man, I haven't mentioned all night, and he has had a big bearing on the game. Greg Canescio, a dummy half, and he's, he's done everything right, and his defence has been spot on also. The front row, well, Broman left the field with a badly damaged jaw, and on came big Dave Brown, and he burned the course right up. He did. He set the Queenslanders alight and went right on with it. Uh, Wally Fullerton Smith, another replacement, has acquitted himself very well indeed, as has Paul Bort and Brian Niebling. Niebling a little quieter in this second half. Mark Murray once again a top game in defence and been worrying the uh, New South Wales defence all night with his scurrying little attacking runs. Wally Lewis, superb. Then you've got Miles and Meninga in the centres, who really haven't put a foot wrong, although they've been watched rather carefully because they... Uh, stripped New South Wales last year and they, New South Wales wasn't going to have that happening again. And on the wings, well, I thought Steve Stacey has gone quite well with the limited run that he has had. His defence has been good. And John Rebo, well, I thought John was a little disappointing tonight. I thought he could have got going on a few more occasions than he did. And Colin Scott hasn't dropped one all night, Bill. I'll get to New South Wales shortly. That's Boyd getting it away to Ella. Colin Scott there, though. Just under seven minutes remaining in the match. Queensland's lead is 18 points to 12. Well, of course, there's a man who wanted New South Wales to be successful tonight. Here it is. The pass to the invisible man. And uh, not good at all. As I was saying, Glossop certainly wanted to... Uh, to have a good showing tonight by the New South Wales side because he was up against Arthur Beeson and a lot of contention about Arthur's co selection as an Australian coach. Well, his boys are doing well tonight. So now that's Wally Lewis bringing it up. He's eight metres short of the halfway mark. And Kinescu away to Niebling. I might say, Bill, that since Ray Brown and Steve Eller have come on, they've injected tremendous uh, quality into the New South Wales attack. This is Rebo. Looking for support. Back over there is Canescu. Which way? Oh, it's going to be lost. A little, bit on. Late. little bit late for the pass. There's Arthur on his third packet of cigarettes, I'd say. Don't know why, because they're going that well. I was would say that Bugden's been a big disappointment, as has Gerard. Ray Price is off with an injury. And Les Boyd, well, he didn't do anything except pump people all night. And Wayne Pierce, extremely quiet. Sterling tried hard, but... Uh, a little bit disappointing all around in New South Wales, and I feel it was because of the great defence from Queensland. Two players went to the sin bin in the first half. Les Boyd for 10 minutes, Dave Brown for five minutes. Uh, but in the second half, no one's had a visit to the sin bin at this stage. Five minutes remaining in this match. I and the I, I could talk about the Queenslanders for that five minutes, Bill, but I don't think it would do them credit. They've think, surprised me. I think everyone uh, has seen this and uh, seen what a job they've done. Got off to a great start and uh, they've kept the, kept it up. But I think the secret of the whole thing has been that defence. It's been rock hard, they've been driving them back in the tackles, and even now with five minutes to go, we just saw them a short time ago putting plenty in. So now the crowd's starting to warm up to the task. They can sense a Queensland victory. But... I suppose, with four and a half minutes to go, but Queensland keeping New South Wales well up there on their own line. As Kinescu comes up to dummy half, this is Mark Murray. Still working his way through, Murray's over. And seals it up. Seals it up for sure. Queensland's lead, 22 points to 12. And look at the belated <laughs> Wally Lewis really happy and I was saying that's the sort of run that's been worrying New South Wales all night. Here it is he goes for a little step, watch him duck underneath here. He doesn't have to on this occasion yes he was thinking about it but that's the determined types of run that uh, put him on the kangaroo tour and also look at the please look on Murray's face. I'm over at last Well this high shot will give you an idea of the players he's got away. There's the first one to go Pierce, here's the next one to go Boyd they're coming at him in all directions but he's over underneath the face. Dreadful attack tonight boy the ability defense dreadful and so now we see Mal Meninga with one in front and uh, that is shut the gate with four minutes remaining oh great work Queensland players in there getting plenty of uh, water and the disappointment has been the New South Wales forwards dreadful yeah. there you can see Meninga with that cut over his right eye 
Come again for the shot at goal. It'll ram home another two points, and it's 24 to 12 at Lang Park. Well, the crowd's been very orderly this evening, hasn't it, Bill? No nonsense. They've sat sat down and I think they're starting to be professional in winning which is great to see <laughs> yes I don't think it's any more of that euphoria that uh, well that we, is... we haven't heard that dreadful cry they used to put up you know <laughs> uh, out of the barnyard yeah. none of that I hope it doesn't happen Fullerton Smith going through there the ball just rolled over his shoulder and uh, so we'll see New South Wales in possession 10 metres inside Queensland territory three and a half minutes remaining there's no doubt about the outcome of the game Queensland will win it and I'd like to see a lot of these Queenslanders in that side to New Zealand. They will have to change it. Well, the Australian selectors sit down tonight. Goodness knows when they'll come out with that team. Well, and the first test match against New Zealand is at Auckland. It comes your way Sunday on Channel O. We'll have highlights of Valleys and Wynnum, then into Australia and New Zealand, the first test. So it's a feast of rugby league Sunday night. Join us from 6.30. And... Uh, You'll get plenty of football action, exclusive on Channel O. I was just thinking there's one player not out there tonight because of sickness. McCabe, he would have loved to have been in that. Here's Colin Scott waiting for it. He's juggled it a bit. New South Wales will end up with it. And touched by the opposition, so there's another six tackles. They're about uh, 18 metres out from the Queensland line. Sterling the dummy half. Two and a half minutes remaining. Brent Null, away then to Sigsworth. He's lost it in the tackle. G Miles a man with it, and Queensland almost up onto the quarter line. He's played very steadily tonight as Miles. Max Krillich down in the back play with an injury. Steve Stacey. Now why Stacey doesn't keep going and keep his balance? He busted the tackle but then fell on the ground, bursting through. He'd be a much better winger if he kept his feet and his balance. Knocked back, says uh, referee Gomesall. And there's a man that's going to cop his fair share from the New South Wales critics. What a bet, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's had a, quite a steady game, quite frankly. Here's Revo looking around, but uh, just losing his footing a little bit. Just under two minutes remaining. Get ready for this crowd to go off. Brad Tesman. And over there is Dave Brown. Yes, it's a roundabout now. I'm feeling very sorry I wore that blue tie, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Chessman sending it back, that's John Rebo Rebo, tackled by Sterling Ella was the first man onto him Les Boyd is down with a cramp again He's had a little bit of trouble in this second half On a couple of occasions Sixworth He's having a bit of trouble on this occasion too Because Wharton and uh, Miles in front of him Brett Kenny is the dummy half this is Brentnell. Ooh, uh, six worth letting one go at Miles in the back play. Queensland up with the ball. Lewis sent it across over there to Vorton. Vorton with the halfway mark. One minute remaining in the match. So get ready for the countdown from this huge crowd at Lang Park tonight. There's Wally Lewis. Looking inside, finds Mark Murray, but he juggles it. Loses it. Regathers, but knocks it on in the process. And only wishes that could happen again, so he wouldn't drop it. Ryan Needling off over there and French coming onto the field in the last minute of the match. And Miles going into the second row. Gene Miles. So now, 25 seconds remaining in this match. Wayne Pierce, tackle over there by Miles, who says, I'm in the forwards. Watch out, fellas. So now it's uh, coming through there, the front row at Duran. Okay, they're counting it down for the last 10 seconds at Lang Park. They're getting ready to storm the field. Two seconds remaining. The kick going through. Rebo ends up with it. There's the full-time hooter, and it's all over at Lang Park. Queensland have won the first State of Origin match to the tune of 24 points to 12. And Mick, I can tell you, the winner of the Channel O Winfield Man of the Match Award, as selected by the Queensland and New South Wales press writers, for $1,000. <laughs> Who is it, Michael? Wally Lewis. Now, do you want to stay here or go on till tomorrow night? <laughs> Yes, Wally Lewis has won the Channel O Winfield Man of the Match Award. And $1,000 to Wally, a great effort. There's Brad Tessman, obviously happy with his first State of Origin match. 
and uh, Les Boyd there, they're following him off. We might get a shot of C. Lewis in there somewhere in the background, but that's it. There's Wally Lewis just going to the right of the camera for the full-time score. Queensland defeating New South Wales by 24 points to 12. Don't forget, of course, Sunday night we'll be back with you here on Channel O at 6.30. The match between Bunnies and Wynnum Hanley. Some highlights of that, and then we'll go straight into highlights of the first Test match. Australia with a heap of Queenslanders in there playing uh, New Zealand in the first Test well, match at Auckland. Well, they should be. I tell you what, been lovely, Bill. Now we'll be able to settle, settle back and have a Forex, won't we? Compliments of Bartlett's bar. You're so right. OK, there it is. The full-time score. Queensland defeating New South Wales by 24 points to 12. Billy J. Smith and Mick Beaver siding off from a very frantic Lang Park.